Hi, so in this video I will show you um, the game controller synthesizer that I've made. Um, I'll just run you through its basic functions. So the first thing that we need to do is open it up and choose the 2-in-1 USB joystick. Then I've allowed it to run on both programs as Macintosh and Windows um, it output HI values differently. So for this one, we're going to click Windows. Over here, we have a diagram which allows you to sh see that all the buttons are working. So if we uh, just quickly run through and make sure that they're all working. So we press start mm -hmm. to initiate the uh, the sound. Let's just clear the synths quickly. So we press start to initiate the sound. Um, you can't really see it too much but in the right side here there is instructions um, and with the right toggle I'm able to with the right toggle I'm able to choose frequencies so right now we're on synth 1 to change from synth 1 to synth 2 you just have to press the left toggle in or out so for synth 1 let's try and put some notes down so we use these four l1 is column one l2 column two r1 column three and r2 column four and the value sets the pitch so let's put one here and then we'll have one there and then we'll switch over to the second synth and um, we can put one here and one there. While we're on the synths, we can then control the values with the square, triangle, circle, and X keys. So with the square, I can then move the release time up and down, and then move to sustain. Then I can move to Decay. And then... Let's put the attack time to quite low. Switch over to Synth 2. And we can do the same. So let's put the release time, the sustain to 100, sorry. Release time to 100. Decay time to a hundred and attack and attack to there you go. So you can then change the beat intervals. The select button allows you to record. Oh, sorry, this. Pressing the right trigger in allows you to record. So let's save that as SND and save. Yes, let's replace that. And that'll start recording. To clear the selections, select and select. So you press the select keys then to uh, clear the each individual synth. And uh, that's pretty much it. 